Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. We're gonna do another through night flashlight review in this video. So previously I've reviewed a couple of their flashlights, the TN12 and the TN36, which is a giant flashlight with six and a half thousand lumens of brightness. So have a look in my channel for the reviews on those two. Now, both of these ran on 18650 batteries, which are a rechargeable lithium battery, which means you do need special batteries for them and a special charger. But the flashlight we're going to review today is the TN4A, and I've got both versions here in cool white and neutral white, and those run off standard AA batteries. So just a quick look at those batteries I mentioned. Um, on the left here, I've got the 18650 batteries. That's a pair of batteries. Um, and those are 3.7 volt lithium batteries. They're quite high capacity, and that's why they use them in flashlights. And obviously a AA is um, a battery that everyone knows and loves. Uh, I've got some nickel metal hydride um, rechargeable batteries here for each flashlight for the testing, but they'll also work on standard um, 1.5 volt normal AA's. So let's have a look at what's inside the box. As I said, I've got both versions here. So I've got the natural white, which has got a yellow sticker on the box, and the cool white, which has got a white sticker on the box. Um, both of them are very similar in appearance. So they both come with the little instruction book that has the specification in, and a little leaflet that tells you about all the other flashlights in the range, and there are quite a lot of other flashlights. So if you don't like any of these, then have a look at the Through Night website. So both of these come in their nice holsters. And they both also come with the spare bits and pieces. So these are waterproof, so they come with spare O-rings and the spare rubber switch cover and the lanyard so that you can um, put it around your wrist or whatever. But both of the holsters have belt buckle attachments for them, both belt strap and the thing there to put onto another strap. So let's have a look at these. These are quite nice cases, but there we go. There's uh, one of them. And there's the other, and they're both identical. The um, only difference is you can see, if you look in, if you want to try and identify them, you can kind of see that uh, the LED in the neutral white one is slightly yellower, and it's sort of slightly white and diffused in the cool white version. Uh, but apart from that, they're very similar. They're made of aircraft-grade aluminium, and they're anodized, so they're extremely tough. And um, I put some of these flashlights through their paces before by throwing them onto concrete, and running them over in a car. So have a look at those reviews. Um, and they're both waterproof, as I say. So um, these take four double A's each. So to put those in, you just unscrew the body. And similar to the TN36, it's got this battery holder. So we'll just put in some double A's into this one. And it does have reverse voltage protection, but it obviously is worth putting the battery in the right way. Um, obviously the spring goes on the negative end, the flat end of the battery. Um, and conveniently, the connections are both in the um, LED end of the torch. There's actually nothing in here. So you can put this cartridge in either way, and it's got both sets of connections, so it doesn't actually matter how that goes. So I'll screw that up nice and tight. And you can feel it uh, biting into the O-ring to make it waterproof. And there we go. And then we've got one button again, similar to the TN36 that turns it on. And if you hold it, it goes through the different brightness levels. It also has a strobe function. If I double click, I should get turbo mode. And if I double click again, I should get strobe. And one click for off. So these flashlights are um, 1150 lumens in turbo mode. And in that mode, it will last for 56 minutes. And obviously there are varying, uh, there's a varying scale down in brightnesses and how long it will last. In high mode, it's 150 minutes at 550 lumens, all the way down to moonlight mode, which is the very dimmest mode. Um, and that's only half a lumen and it will last for 90 days on two and a half amp hour nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries. The maximum distance the beam will cast is 326 meters on these, which is quite a long way. And it's impact resistance to um, being dropped for two meters and waterproof to a depth of one and a half meters. Both these flashlights have through night's intelligent temperature control technology, uh, which basically dims the flashlight if the LED overheats so that um, it doesn't get damaged. As I said, the cases are aircraft grade aluminium uh, with a, a nice knurled grip there so they don't slip out of your hand too much. Um, and they've also got ultra clear tempered glass lenses um, with an anti-reflective coating, so as much light comes out as possible. 
So I'm in a dimly lit room and in front of me, as you can just see in the dark there, is actually a photographic screen that I use for photographing projects and things which has actually got a white piece of cloth on it. So that's quite a good test to see the difference between these flashlights. So in my right hand I have the neutral white, which looks white now, but if I turn on the cool white, which is in my left hand, you can see that's probably, you can see that's slightly whiter and this one is slightly yellower. So let's just go up. That's through the brightness levels. Still see one is slightly whiter than that one. And if I double click this one, that's turbo and that's turbo. So one click for off and then it should go back to high. If I hold them again, it goes through the brightness levels. So I'm not sure where it's easiest to see. I think you can see here this one is a slightly yellower white than the whitest white. So cool white here and neutral white here. So I'm in a field and I'm testing these flashlights in almost pitch black. So I've got the neutral white here, that's um, in low mode. It's got this nice blue switch on so you can see where the switch is when it's on as well. So those are the two other modes, so that's high. And if we double click, that is turbo. I don't know how far you can see that shining, but um, altogether it's pretty bright. You can see the beam there, in fact, through um, the mist, which isn't really that misty. So yeah, pretty damn bright. So this is the cool white, which is a, a sort of whiter white. We'll double click for turbo. So again, that's pretty bright. So I've done quite a lot of testing on these in the past by throwing them out of windows and running them over with cars and things to show how tough they are. Um, and this one feels just as tough as the others, if not better, because it's slightly smaller than the TN36, so it probably wouldn't even crush as easily. Um, so I'm not going to do too much destruction testing on these, other than to say they are incredibly strong. As I say, they're aircraft grade aluminium, and being a tube makes them of course really strong. What I haven't done in the past is much waterproof testing, so I've put them in buckets of water and things like that for an hour or so, and they all seem fine. So I'm going to give this a bit of a better, better test. But I don't really want to wash it out to sea or anything like that, so uh, we're in the kitchen for a reason. Yes, it's where the dishwasher is located. So I'm going to dishwasher my flashlight. I'm not going to do both of them. I think this is the cool white one, but it doesn't really matter. I'm leaving the batteries in as well, and we're going to just put that in the dishwasher and um, for a bit and see how it goes. So I'm going to put it onto the rinse cycle because I don't want to um, make it too hot because that probably would melt the rubber seals. So. Uh, I can hear the water flowing, so we'll leave that for a bit and come back and see how wet it is. So it's still in the middle of its rinse cycle. Um, you can hear the water washing away, so um, I'm going to open it anyway rather than leave it for two hours or whatever it takes. Okay, so there we go, nice and wet inside. There's my flashlight. Still seems to work fine. Yeah, looks pretty good, so we'll dry that off and have a look on the inside. So it looks okay, the batteries are all dry. Hopefully you can see in there that it's uh, not sure how easy is it to see, but uh, there's uh, no drips or anything on the inside. And obviously it's got a rubber O-ring around there, um, which is tightened up onto, so that seems to have worked pretty well. That's the end of my TN4A review. Don't forget to check out the links in the description to find out where you can buy it worldwide. 
Also subscribe to my channel for more product reviews, unboxings and various projects.